Welcome to the BioBuzz Center. This is Tracy Cooley, and today I am here with Bio's President and CEO, Jim Greenwood. Welcome, Jim. Thank you, Tracy. And we have the honor of kicking off video coverage in the BioBuzz Center during this week's Bio International Convention. We are particularly excited this year because we are celebrating 20 years of the event. And Jim, can you tell me from your perspective, what is the significance of this milestone? Well, this convention has grown from a small gathering into the largest biotech event in the world. 1993, when we first did this, we had something like 1,400 participants. We'll have 10 times that many people this year. We're attracting thousands of industry leaders from more than 48 states and 65 countries. It's really remarkable how this event has grown and the changes that we've seen in the industry in the past 20 years as well. We do big things. Our success is measured not only in the number of products approved, lives saved, people fed, and jobs created, but in the hope and opportunity for a better life that biotech breakthroughs make possible. What do you feel is the true value of attending? Uh, what can our attendees expect this week? This convention serves as a forum where people and companies can connect, they can partner and innovate, and this week we expect to host more than 25,000 partnering meetings among industry, universities, and research institutions. We also have a great program with more than 800 high-level speakers representing all facets of the industry. And you won't want to miss our two keynotes. On Tuesday, I'll be talking to rising stars within the industry at the Forbes 30 Under 30 session. These are uh, people who are between the ages of 18 and 29 and are doing some incredible things. These are really smart young people, very inspiring. On Wednesday, I'll be moderating a discussion with Alan Simpson, he's the former senator from Wyoming, and Erskine Bowles, who was uh, Bill Clinton's chief of staff. We're going to be talking about America's fiscal and economic path. You don't want to uh, miss checking out the Bio Exhibition Hall. Uh, we'll have uh, exhibitions there covering an area the size of four football fields and featuring more than 60 country and state pavilions. And what are your expectations of the event? What do you feel will be the long-term implications of the convention? Now, I think what's great about this convention is that you, you can be sure that there will be many future advances and breakthroughs that actually come from this meeting. Uh, they will begin with uh, an idea that could be sparked in one of the sessions or a deal struck on the bio business forum or a connection made in the bio exhibition or one of the many social and networking events. So I also think that the attendees will have some time to enjoy Chicago. It's a beautiful city. Uh, this region has a tremendous amount to offer. And most of all, I think the convention will bring out the global leaders of this industry to connect, to partner, and innovate, and move forward the promise of the biotech industry to, as we like to say, heal, fuel, and feed the world. And before we wrap up, any closing thoughts to share? Yeah, I want to personally thank the city of Chicago, our state affiliate, iBio, the numerous partners and collaborators that we work with throughout the year to make this event a success. We honestly couldn't do it without you. Well, thank you for joining us, Jim, and thank you to all of our viewers as well. Please check us out in the BioBuzz Center this week where we will be featuring videos on the latest science, policy issues affecting the industry, global trends, and so much more. Have a great week, everyone. For the BioBuzz Center, this is Tracy Cooley.